Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we're going to be talking about the Socialist Party USA nominee, Howie Hawkins, and the current frontrunner of the Green Party primary, Howie Hawkins. Same guy. So, the whole deal about making this video is that he is inviting Sanders supporters to join his campaign, you know, trying to get that, see, I get these things all the time, and he's just like, you know, trying to get all the support that Sanders has. He could do it if he, you know, campaigns hard enough and gets off his ass. So, you know, Sanders earned the support of millions, blah, 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 blah. You know, pretty much, he's the... Mm. What? Go say something. Sure. You know, Bernie Sanders dropped out just to fucking, uh... What do you call it? Support Endorse. Joe Biden. Well, he did it because there was no way he was going to win. Just like... He uh, should have supported Trump, not Joe Biden. Well, it's a, I mean, it's, I mean, his supporters are going to go to Trump either way, because a lot of them don't like Joe, so... Biden's a dick. He's a perp. Dumbass. He's Obama 2.0. That's why Clinton lost, but okay. So he's trying, but he's trying his vice president. Not going to happen. Dumbass. So yeah, Andrew Yang would have been a better choice. So if Trump I... Trump is the better choice. So if Howie Hawkins could get, you know, that Sanders support that Joe Biden's probably not going to get and these Sanders supporters go, hey, look, this guy is old like Bernie Sanders, has glasses like Bernie Sanders, but even better, he's got a beard unlike Bernie Sanders. So, I mean, he kind of has that haircut, but not really. So if he can get the Sanders base to support him, how would that happen on the map? So could Howie Hawkins even gain one electoral vote? We're about to find out. So, Washington, that would be lean for Joe Biden. Uh, if Sanders was on the ticket, he'd definitely fl uh, flip the state into the green slash progressive or socialist column, column, whatever party he'd run under. Uh, Oregon would be tilt. Usually I'd give it to Trump in this scenario, but I don't think it's uh, trended that far to the right just yet. I get these all the time. Uh, California would still be safe for Biden. I don't know what's wrong with this place. They'll vote for anybody that's under that Democrat name hell they'd vote for hitler if he was under the democrat party guarantee it and nevada i'd give it to trump by a lean margin usually i'd give it to biden but you know since you know the vote splitting between hawkins and biden uh that would cause nevada to flip you know these bible heavy states even arizona would go fl would flip for uh or would stay to trump arizona would flip to the, from lean to safe usually i'd have it tilt but again vote splitting alaska would be safe I honestly think Hawaii would be, uh, let's say, lean for Howie Hawkins. I think he'd be able to flip the state if he can get uh, Tulsi Gabbard's endorsement. Probably not, but considering how popular Bernie Sanders is in Hawaii, I'm pretty sure he could, he could win the state in Hawaii, even though Gabbard's going to be endorsing Joe Biden. Uh, Colorado, I'm going to give that to Biden narrowly. Uh, Hawkins could flip the state, but I, if he tried hard enough and started supporting, you know, decriminalization marijuana, which I'm pretty sure he does support, but then again, uh, New Mexico, I give to Trump. Again, uh, the Latino unemployment rate is at all-time low right now. Um, even with that, I don't think Trump's going to win the state unless there's a vote split between Biden and another major left-wing candidate. So that's the only reason why I'd give Trump New Mexico. All of Nebraska would be safe, but the second district would be likely. Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas would be safe in this scenario. Usually I'd have it likely, but it'd be safe in this scenario. Minnesota, I have the tilt or lean or tilt. I'm going to give it tilt just because I think Amy Klobuchar is going to be campaigning for Biden up in Minnesota, which she's very popular. Iowa safe. Trump won the state by almost by 9.8 points, so he'll probably win about over 10 this time, even with, especially with Hawkins on the ticket. Uh, these southern states all safe, including Georgia. North Carolina would be lean. because Again, there are a lot of Bernie bros in North Carolina. Believe it or not, there are. I've met them. They're dumb. Really dumb. All they care about, we want weed. Free health care. I've met them. They're, I'm friends with one of them. He loves me. He knows I fuck around all the time. So there's that. Uh, Florida, I would put a state just, just to make the people mad. But again... But again uh, a lot of Democrats are going to vote for Biden, and the Cuban vote is going to hate the whole socialism thing that Hawkins got, so they're not going to vote for him. I don't think Hawkins is going to have that big of a uh, impact on Florida since socialism is hated in that state greatly since there's a lot of Cubans there. So Trump would win that state by a uh, likely margin. Virginia, I'm going to give to Trump by a tilt margin, especially what's going on over there right now. With a lot of uh, Second Amendment sanctuary counties, uh, 
I think a lot of them are thinking about going over or joining with West Virginia, like, you know, cutting the state in half pretty much, which would help Trump more than anything else. But I think turnout is going to be huge for Virginia these next two or three election cycles for these Second Amendment sanctuary counties to try to flip the state red. Will it happen? Probably not, considering how big Richmond and all those area, all those uh, liberal areas are. And so there's that. Uh, Illinois, still safe. Indiana, Ohio, both safe. Trump won Ohio by 8.6 points, I'm pretty sure. So, there, so yeah. Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, both lean, as well as Michigan, these Rust Belt states. Usually I'd give Michigan to Biden or Trump by a tilt margin. But right now, with the votes, but I'm pretty sure he'd win them by, over, uh, by less than five points, but above one point. Uh, New York could have safe. I'd give Vermont to Howie Hawkins by a likely margin. Oh, crap. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Lean likely. There we go. Uh, I think if uh, Bernie Sanders throws his support behind Howie Hawkins, he could very well uh, flip the state. Uh, Trump, I would give him New Mexico by a lean mar uh Not New Mexico, but New Hampshire by a lean margin. Um, if Chris Sununu were to uh, help him flip the state, which, you know, that's a whole thing with some of these states. Governors and senators are a lot more uh, important than you think they are. They actually help these candidates flip certain states, if you think about it. Um... Main, main second district would be safe, while Maine's first district would be tilt, giving Maine at large a lean. So all of Maine would go to Trump. Uh, again, the vote splitting is helping Trump win a lot. Uh, Massachusetts, I would give it to Biden lean. Massachusetts. Are you making fun of the way I say it? <laughs> Rhode Island, same. A lot of these states, I'd give Connecticut lean. Uh, I think I'd give him like I think I'd give Massachusetts and, and Connecticut likely actually. Uh, New Jersey, I'd actually give it to Trump by a tilt margin. Um, again, the Jewish population is really you know uh, having their the unemployment rating for Jews in New Jersey are actually very low, and that all has to do with Trump with him creating millions of jobs. Funny how Clinton said that Trump was going to um, lose jobs and not create them, and she was going to create jobs, and it's the other way around. So. Uh, Delaware, that's safe. Again, I hate to use the term, it's Biden's home state, but in order for Delaware, it's pretty true. Biden is, for some reason, popular in Delaware. I don't know why. Some of these states just be like, oh, he's from our state? Vote for him. And some of the states are like, are smarter and be like, wait, he's from our state, but is he really that good? So, yeah, you just gotta think about that. Maryland, I'd give to Biden by a lean margin. Again, I think if Hogan were to campaign for Trump in Maryland, he could probably get a lot lower than that, especially with Howie on the ticket. But there's that. D.C., safe. They'll never go red, ever. They'll never go red. Year 3000 is probably when they'll go red. Year 3000, I'm calling it. Year 3000, D.C. will flip red by two points. I guarantee it. <laughs> But here's the final map. Uh, Donald Trump with 361 electoral votes, so he broke 350. Hallelujah. Joe Biden with 170 electoral votes and Howie Hawkins with 7 electoral votes. Now, a lot of you are going to say, if you just skip to the video, you'll be like, wait, Howie Hawkins ain't going to be a major candidate, blah, blah, blah. This is not, this is hypothetical. You should have paid attention. This is probably why a lot of people say I'm rude and condescending. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is the Catechon saying peace.